And we are online for another awesome uh, episode let's of the Pro Quest. What? You interrupted the intro, man. I'm sorry. Looks <sighs> like so I had to do it again. No, no, moment's gone. <laughs> Just do it again, please. No. Okay, <laughs> so you guys have been adventuring around the region of Wisterfell. Which I kind of realize now sounds a lot like Winterfell. Eh. Yeah. Eh, no one will notice. And you guys, uh, yeah. You reforge an old friendship. And stop the slaughtering of a lot of griffins. Even if they were vulture <laughs> griffins. Yeah. They're kind of the gross kind. Well, you say but it's stop, okay. I can't... I kind of did murder the majority of them. You kind of killed a bunch. I'm, cer I'm certain the Griffin King would have forgiven you. And besides, now you have a brand you you have two new party members. Yeah, yeah. new friends. Yeah. Breezy and Doomfluff. Breezy and Doomfluff. Uh, the one being a uh, turkey raptor and the other being a tiny griffin. Owl griffin. A little wee owl griffin. Yeah. Which is very fluffy. You, okay, I had to give you stats for that. Okay. Okay, so you guys are currently in Iron Falls, uh, you got yourself your wagon, you bought a bunch of supplies, you're ready to go. What would you like to do? Well, apparently we want, uh, well, Rob wants to go to Soapside, because he told us about the thing, right? Yes, I have a contractual obligation over there. Yeah, and everyone will go think you're crazy because we didn't see the witch, because she kind of disappeared. She's a witch! She jumped in a parabola and got away. <laughs> witch! Well, it's a group vote where, you, if, uh, where everyone wants to go. Well, you got two ways to get there. You can go through the, uh, the ruins to the north, or you can take the long way around south. Well, I was voting for the north just because we recently made friends that way. Yeah. 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 Okay, so that's what you're going to do. Yes, we are. Okay. Thank you. How many, uh, how much food did you guys get for your wagon? Five, eight? I believe we got enough there for the trip there and the trip back to going to and from Iron Falls. Plus a bit extra, yeah. just in case. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you got that dwarven ale, too. Mm. Mm, that'll keep you going. You said it took us about... What was it? It took, three, you about a, it took you about a... Uh, yeah, if you go from Iron Falls to Salt Side, it'll take you about four days to get there, crossing the mountains. Because mm. you kind of got to jig-jog up those things. Yeah, so we bought five days of food, so four days we're, will be, you know, en enough, but we have five day's worth, just in case. Okay, so you guys set out, and uh, it's a pretty easy time going up the mountain, you don't get, uh, you're not getting haggled by any, any griffins. You see a couple, but they, you know, they're, they're doing their thing. And then a day goes by, and about uh, noon on the next day, you guys uh, f find that your path now has become less rugged and a little more cobblestone -y. Oh, smooth, right? Mm. More or less. It looks like nobody really has been used this for a while, but yeah, it looks like there's, uh, your path has gone from a uh, beaten mountain trail into a cobblestone path. After you guys kind of wind around the side of a mountain, uh, you see down in a valley some ruins. Mm. I have a question. Who's driving? 
I believe uh, Bridget was driving. Okay. Yes. Yes. So I had, other than the zero, I had the highest decks. Okay. Alright, so you guys have come to the ruins of Galagar. And if I go to my notes here. It is the ruins of an ancient fortified town. Easily identified by the tall keep in its center. And it looks like your path will go take you straight through it. Hmm. Hmm. It's too quiet. Ah, now when you say that now somebody is gonna attack us. <laughs> I know. So they a cape drove. Oh god. Yeah, you wish oh, it was that easy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, no Italia is something a lot worse than that game drone. This me. game writes itself. <laughs> so yeah, so you have the choice. You can either go down to the valley towards uh, towards the ruins. Or you guys can try to find a way around it. it doesn't really look like there's a good really good way through it. Well let's uh, discuss this. Uh, you guys just wanna camp? In the ruins for a bit, then continue well, to the south side. It's about midday. It's about midday. Oh, yeah, it's about midday. So you guys got lots of time. Oh. Okay. It won't take you that long to get Let's down there. Let's wander forward. See what tries to ambush us. No, I'm gonna get guns ready though. Who's gonna mount that crossbow? We can just go through it. Uh, it doesn't look like we've been there for years. Don't you know ruins are the favorite haunts of, well, haunts. I might fight a ghost. Oh, two. Maybe three. Well, I'm sure the cleric, the cleric will probably have already got rid of it. Yeah. Well, or the just orc. in case, who's got the uh, next highest dex rather than uh, Bridget's character to mount on that uh, crossbow? That would be Nazar. Alright, then you just mount up, get ready, just in case. You know, we might get ambushed and shit. Alright. I guess I'll climb on the wagon. No, I don't know how how well a a net launcher will do against a ghost unless it's a uh, well if it's not a ghost it's, it's, if yeah. it's something not everything like is incorporeal yeah too anyway, bad it's not a ghost busting net launcher <laughs> wrong game yeah no <laughs> <laughs> or else I can have you guys fighting cosmic horrors at some point in time Mm. And you don't want that, do you? That's what I thought. No problem, pause. I don't know, but I don't mind fighting them in the future. Colin, you'll die. Horribly. Anyway, God. you guys move down to the valley, and uh, you are now at the gates of the ruins. Are there actual gates, or is it just an opening? Uh, it's just an opening. Whatever was there, like if there was door, like a big door there, looks like it may have rotted away. Or if there was a gate there, it's probably just not in use. So the place seems pretty dusty. A tumbleweed goes by. Interesting. I could always this scout This is the sort of habitat tumbleweeds tend to fill in. <laughs> no, Doom Fluff, don't. Leave the tumbleweed alone. He looks at you properly. Uh, <laughs> um, what I was about to say. Uh, do you want me to fly up ahead and check it out before we, you know, like, went in there and found out there's an ambush? Because I don't know if you want to send send Do uh, Doom Fluff to actually scout. Uh, yeah, I can send Doom Fluff up just to take a look around. It's just the fact that I might not be able to understand if he tries to tell me anything. <laughs> he doesn't English good. He's a griffin. I'm a cat. Oh, what, are you going to look at me? Yes, translate. God damn it. <laughs> you think Do you speak don't griffin? Uh, I don't know, Tyler. Do I speak bird? <laughs> you fell asleep during your griffin speaking class. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you don't know griffin. That's almost racist. Just because you're a bird doesn't mean you can talk to birds. <laughs> People are so ignorant. Yeah, man. Jeez. A 
Okay, so what's your what's your course of action? Uh, send uh, let's, Doom Fluff? Uh, yeah, Doom Fluff. Uh, yeah. Let's send the Butin up to see if he sees anything. Let's send because the we'll be able to understand him better. I'll send both of us, okay. Yeah. If one of us has been taken out, at least one could escape. If only one of you comes back, we assume there's a severe ambush. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go scout ahead. If neither of you come back, we go around. <laughs> oh, geez, thanks, guys. <laughs> we would have found out it was a bad idea, and we decided not to go in there. <laughs> All right, any hoozles? I'm going to make you guys a map. Hey, robot. What the heck? What's this stuff doing here? Oh. Okay, I gotta get rid of that. What did the grit? So what did our little Griffin say? Or shouted. My, my little Griffin and the big bird man haven't come back yet. Oh. So Papa Bird and Baby Bird are not back yet, I see. Hmm. I'm fairly certain Colin's uh, code name is going to be Big Bird. <laughs> I didn't realize he was yellow. Well, he's not a coward. <laughs> okay, roll 20. Why are you being so, like, stupid right now? I, I don't need you to be stupid. If somebody could uh, grab your tokens and put them on the token layer. Got it. Thank you. It's got to make this place a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, apparently I was doing it wrong. Give me half a second longer. I forgot this is... Click the wrong button and everything goes. Uh, maybe someone else can do that because I just uh, I gotta come come back to roll twenty entirely. Make you a token for your wagon. I totally forgot about that. Oh, and uh, I wonder if uh, Bridget found a token for her void. Actually, it'd just be on her, so it doesn't really matter too much, I guess. But 
Yeah. I couldn't actually find one, I did start to sketch out one, and I never got round to finish it in time. Okay, well then we'll just use a NPC token for now if we uh, need to have them separate from you. Alright, back. I'll come back on. Um, we could find these tokens, uh, pre-made ones, we could just use them as a, uh, the, the wagon. I'm pretty sure there's a wagon token that we search. Alright, I'll see if I find anything. Wagon. Oh, okay, here we go. Top-down wagon. It's even got a horse attached to it. <gasps> but it's not a turkey wrapper, though. It's Dude, it's, it's fine. You're, you're never going to find exactly what you're looking for. That's true. Man, that's one big wagon. Say that's about. Uh, yeah, that's about right. About ten feet. Yeah. Ten feet would do. Okay. So. Oh. I'm guessing that all of us have our age being such back since you know it's been, been several days. Uh, yeah, you guys are good. Why does rule twenty hate me? No, it hates everybody. There you go. Swaggin' wagon. <laughs> <laughs> All aboard the swaggin' wagon. Alright, let's edit my character. Edit. Come on. There we go. Because my health has changed now because I leveled. Five to twenty-five. What's my res now? Sorry, can you put the wagon below the tokens? Oh yeah, you can do that. You just you you right click it. Go ahead. Okay. This is for the fu for future reference. Okay. Uh, right click it, and then say yep. two back, and then it should uh, go like below everything. It's okay. not on. It's not on a different layer. It's just yeah, below everything else. And the eyes in the back. I don't know where the dwarf will be. I'll just put him there. Slave rebellion from this terrible place. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I apologize for We're not having this ready ahead of time, but uh, I don't know where you guys are going, so I kind of just make it up on the fly. Space we got left in this. Oh, okay, we got tons of space. So yeah, you guys uh, walk in. We can, uh, I guess, explore as I'm uh, building this map here. I can't do squat. It's determining scale sizes. It's not even loaded yet. Oh, still? Yes. Oh. Yeah, let's give it a moment. Give that refresh. Again. That just seems like it's 
counterproductive. <laughs> uh, hey, uh. Oh, we have to buy that. That's lame. What? I see a, a muscle owl. I'm looking for a token for Bridget Sal, and there's like a muscle owl, but you have to buy it. Oh. Shame. How much? I don't know. It says, uh, buy it on Marketplace. Let's see, what's that? Oh, four, four, five dollars? Huh. For a token? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to look for a a round token for owl. I don't have to worry about it. If we're just already drawing a token, we'll just let her do that later. There you go. Hmm? <laughs> Got herself a hoodie yeah. owl. There you go. They were out for her. Oh, pfft. looks like it's just like face planted into the ground. <laughs> All right, so you guys uh, wander into the ruins of Galagar. It is very ruiny. Mm. There you go. Got a falcon punchy one now. <laughs> Got fist. Oh, what? Jesus. Let me move this out the way for a sec. That's there, put this back. Is that a bit better? Which one you want, hun? Uh, the one that's like looks like it's punching people in the face? Or the other one? I'll say the punching people one because the other one honestly looks like it's dead. <laughs> okay. It kind of does look like it's dead. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's that, and there is this one. It's a flying one. You want that one? Uh, let's keep with the punching one for now. Okay. Uh, set up the stats how you want it. I guess we can have to scale it down, or is that good size? As long as it takes up uh, at least roughly the same space as you do. It, it does. Alright. Uh -huh. So yeah, go, go ahead and edit uh, the name, of course, and um, its health and whatnot. Doom Fluss, uh, Fluff, Fist of Fury right there. Now we gotta draw Doom Fluff. Punch the people in the face. He is gonna be like the grumpiest owl griffin you've ever seen. And it's only a baby too, so... He's got like massive eyebrows. That's how I would draw him anyway. Let's check out chat who's on. Back oh. here. Oh. Chrissy, Tilla, we got. Uh, Euro. Yeah, that's basically it. Hero, I was talking on mute when I said hi. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't have, have another round of. I was talking while I was muting, and I did not even realize it. You're still having problems, problems. Um, uh, Rob. I I try to mute the air conditioner so you don't hear that horrible staticky noise. But. Um, Rob, you still having issues with? Um, 
Roll 20, because I didn't notice you haven't... Ah, oh, there you go. You had it. I just okay. got in. Okay. Alright, good, so good. up. Oh, and you have to fix your health. Oh, yeah. Uh, go, you go to your settings bit, because it's like 19 out of 14. That's why it looks like you got more health than usual. Okay, done. Okay. Hmm. King's Quest, the complete collection on Steam. Hmm. Focus, bro. Interesting. Focus. You're not on a King's Quest, you're on a Bro Quest. Yeah. <laughs> Man. That just came up. I'm... Steam just came up, and I was just so glad. I'm so sorry. Has no hit points. Doesn't need any. Man, no, I think all right, it's fine. No, I think that's, that's what you're doing, you stupid ass good. thing. <clears throat> all right, I guess I'll just go back and do this manually myself again. It's a ruin. You don't have to be very detailed with it, bro. No, well, yeah. like some are some are gonna be collapsed, some are not. I just I had a bunch of collapsed ones like made already, and then all of a sudden it just like didn't work the way I wanted it to. Mm. It doesn't want it doesn't want them. I totally, I have, I got some appropriate music for this place, but I don't think it's on SoundCloud, unfortunately. Ah, uh, shame. What type of music were you looking for? Uh, it's a song from a game called Terranigma. It's, uh, oh, it's so appropriate, but... Well, we could always just play this. No, 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 no. Nope. No more Game of Thrones. No, that, we're done. We're done with that. Okay. that joke, we're in the wrong place anyway. That joke was done last game. We can't. You can't just keep recycling that stuff. What's well, this? That in the Milk Gear one, I found. Uh, hang on, maybe I can. Maybe uh, I can let's see here. Ruin. You know. Metal Gear Rex would make an awesome throw. Uh, I see Tales of Ruin, maybe. maybe. <sighs> oh, it's, um, we don't need to hear any sound effects. It's just for the audience, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't hear the music on the stream until I, I watch the playback sometime in the future. Let's see here. Do you know what the song was called? Because I could probably look it up on YouTube. Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's not on SoundCloud. It was a song called "Lonely Spirit" from Terranigma, but it's it's fine. Don't worry about it. It was it was, it was a pretty short song anyway. Hey, they got lots of Lord of the Rings stuff. We could just use that. No, it's Maybe not the same. That. <laughs> it's not the same. Okay. It's not what I'm looking for. Alright, anyway, you guys can uh, start exploring these ruins, if you so wish. Well, I'm gonna fly with Doom Fluff and scout up ahead. So I'm gonna move my out and. Uh, do you want me to control Doom Fluff or do you want to? Uh, you control him for now. Oh. Thing as, as he's flying off of you. Uh, so, I have to zoom out. Fifty percent, and then I'll move 
I'll move them ahead over there. Alright, so you guys move into the dusty ruins of Galagar, and so far it seems pretty vacant, aside from uh, the occasional uh, tumbleweed. Occasional tumbleweed. You see, like a <laughs> lizard crawling across some rocks. Other than that, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty empty. So just pretty empty. Okay. Pretty mm. gosh darn empty. All right, I'll move another. Let me see how far. You hear Doom Fluff squawk, and then you know he goes into a building, chases a bunch of birds out. Ah. Nom, 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 bird. And the further you get in, you know, so you get to, like, the sort of roughly-ish center of the town, and you notice that there's this giant keep kind of rises above all the other buildings, kind of surrounded by walls. Oh, yeah. All right. Looks like it's good to head back. Oh, man, I need to zoom out a lot more. There we go. All right, I'm gonna fly back and we write it to the team. Ah. So the really big building we can see from here is all you saw from there. Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Mm. Well, I guess we just proceed forward then. All right. Yeah, a second. Let me just. So I don't keep flopping back between token storage and stuff. I'm just gonna grab these are the tokens here and just plunk them up in the corner. So where are you moving the wagon to? So you're gonna move All right. Into the you guys want me to move the wagon straight on? To the middle? Uh, sure. Okay. Hmm. All right. So yeah, you trot on in. Breezy looks a little nervous. Oh. Oh. Nazar, you see something out of the corner of the eye. I think you saw a shape on top of one of the buildings. It came from over here. I didn't see any ping. Oh, I'll ping it again. Ah, okay. So... Anything more than just a shape, or... We saw it looked like a humanoid shape briefly, and then it kind of ducked down behind the uh, ruined parapet. I think we should get ready for an ambush. Well, I can always mm -hmm. just uh, tell me if you tell me the direction, I can always just head to fly up there. Because I, afraid, know nothing. It was that way. Uh, I need to zoom out. I can't see your pings. Do it again? Over there. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to fly over there. Alright, you fly over there. You fly up on, on top of the wall. You see a, uh, a door close over here. There you said? Yep, right. Okay. Right there. Okay. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna investigate this door. It is an old door. Yes. Is it locked? That's the main question. Do you try the door? Yes. Uh no, it appears to be open. Oh. Okay, I'll open the door. It is very dusty inside. Wow. Oh. 
So nothing I could actually see in there. No, you see a ladder going down into the tower, to the bottom floor. Mm. Right then, I am gonna head back. And tell everyone, if there was a person there, it went probably down that, uh, what is it, just a ladder down, yeah, down, down to the ground? Down yeah, down the bottom of the tower, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You think there could be bandits hiding out here or something? It's a possibility. Or it would be someone exploring through the ruins, it is a ruins. Or it could be the, or it could be those elves, those savage elves. Normally they will just try to attack us rather than run away. As That's you true. guys are talking, uh, your uh, breezy gets a little squawky, and then you guys look up, look down the road. Oh, okay. Oh. Other this... than a red dot on the radar, does it look like anything? Remember those cloaked guys you fought in the temple? Oh, oh crap. No. It's one really? of those. Uh, you mean one of the you mean one of the ninjas that one of the ninja things that attacked us? One of the darkling ninjas, yeah. Oh god. But what are they doing outside in the middle of the day? It's a very good question. Yeah. It's yeah. a very, very good question. Mm. Yeah. Can I look up to see if it's overcast? Not nah, it's uh, cloudless sky. Mm. I just scratched my head. It, it, it might be actual like a fucking ninja, <laughs> not a shadow one. Yeah. Goddamn ninjas! Hey, you wanna, is this area known for its ninjas? <laughs> <laughs> well, ruins probably. Uh, we could communicate, I guess. Um, dwarf, you want to talk with him? Well, at least the the thing is wearing the garb of the ninja. No, Maybe, no, you remember, you remember that picture? Here, I'll, I'll bring I'll bring it up again. Oh uh, yeah, I think I, I remember that one. I kind of not really. Loading, loading. Okay, that's fine. It's that thing from Majora's Mask. Oh yeah, the the the, the, the desert ninja thing. Yeah, I remember. Oh, now. Where are you? You were, you were like right here. Stupid. You're like a ninja. I can't even find you now. Ha! Figures. Goddamn ninjas. Okay, well, if I can't find it, you guys have to fight this giant bear thing instead. How about that? <laughs> seems fair? Yeah, seems fair. <laughs> Which one would be worse? Oh, no. I thought it was, like, right in here. Right in oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, that thing. We have had a decent track record against giant bear things. What, they can't Ninjas, hit. not so much. You mean the bears that can't fucking hit us at all? And keep hitting his <laughs> friends? Alright, you guys hear a... Uh, you guys hear a thud behind you. Oh, shit. And, uh, like, the clinking of chains. And you see another one. We could, uh... We can, like, just retreat. Because we, we need a pass for here. And we can just come back later. This, one, this guy looks like he's seven feet tall. And he's got oh. a giant flail. But he's still wearing kind of the same uh, hooded garb. Oh. Um, yeah, and you want to go past him? see them? another one. Oh, God damn it. And another oh, one. Well, guys, you want to... And another <laughs> one. <laughs> what the hell? Do you think we can race forward and get past them, or do yeah, we have to... Yeah, yeah, no, let's race forward. Let's do that. You, uh, get your net gun ready. Okay, yeah, so who's uh, who, who's on the wagon? Who's who's driving? That would be Me. Bridget. Okay, Bridget, you got a wagon. I have the wagon. Alright. Uh, ro roll to wagon. What am I rolling to wagon? My that, decks? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's your decks. Straight decks. Okay, you wagon pretty okay. Move upward, uh, 12, uh... That's gonna be even further than that. Um... How many feet? Hang on. How far does, uh... Okay, your thing moves... 40 feet when mounted, so if I guess also 40 feet when pulling a wagon. Okay, so move it 40 feet in any direction you wish. Okay, zoom in. 
Uh, do you want me to move it for you, hun? Or do you, you, you can slip yeah. it all? Okay. I was like, just move it. Because we're just plowing straight through. Get out of here. Okay. Right there where I, ha where I have the marker at. Okay, move up that way. All right. But as you do that, you see uh, more guys are showing up. Some of them are just like kind of popping like right out of the sand. You see a guy on the roof over here. Sorry, you see at the corner of an eye, you see a guy on the roof right over here. <laughs> and they are closing in on you. These guys are just booking it. They are surrounding you. Bunch of hooglins. <laughs> Let's see, what, what what range weapons do we have? Uh, we have uh, throwing spears two, uh, and a net gun. Two spears okay. and three nets. Don't we mm -hmm. have throwing axes as well? One axe. One. It's not, no, not a throwing axe. Really have a, oh, it's not we throwing don't axe. have an arsenal of throwing axes. Okay. No. Put that on the, on the shopping list. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe even crossbows. I should got myself a sling. Oh, they're very good. Oh yeah. How how are they at hunting ninjas? Huh? What you said, Rob? How are they at hunting ninjas? Hunting ninjas? Uh. Yeah, because that's apparently what we need to kill them for. No, I can't talk today. Okay, you guys are getting surrounded. What are you going to do? Uh, well, I think we just keep bowing forward, right? Keep yeah. bowing forward. Four. Okay, roll again. Ooh, Eleven. okay. That's Does uh, the 20 still hate us? It yes. must. What did we do to you? All right, you continue to move 40 feet. Alright, I'll move it. Uh, we could actually do a shot action. So, you you know, Nazar, you can shoot one of them with your net gun. Which one? The one is almost near us, I guess. The closest one? The one in uh, the south? You know, closest? This guy? Yeah, that guy. Let's see if we can hit him. I think we you, might. You do. You oh. fire the net gun and you hit this guy right here. Uh, boom. He's stunned. He gets wrapped up in a net. Sweet. Uh, Bolak, do you want to see if you can throw a spear at the other dude? Yes. I I grab a spear and uh, I let's know. I gotta turn this grid here off because you don't really need this anymore. Ah, wait. Uh, yeah, you might. Here. It, it does help when you move the car, you know? Okay. The spear... The spear... spear, 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 spear I didn't... I, yeah. You can throw a spear... Uh... 20 feet. No, I would not range. That's safe. They're out of range. Yeah. Save it when they get a little bit more. You know, okay. closer. Save so it, the, yeah. The rest of these guys uh, are moving on in. Trying to cut you off. We don't want to get run over either. Well, we're going to run them over. I don't fucking run them over, yeah. Okay, uh, the guy from behind you, this guy right here, fires a crossbow bolt at your wagon. At the wagon? Oh. Oh. It's not really intending to hit. Well, you guys are so pa closely packed together. So I'll just gotta roll a uh, D4 here to see which one he it hits. Where's a cross light crossbow? Okay. One hit. It's, he's firing at Nazar. You got a crossbow yeah, bolt coming at no you. No surprises there. All right. Oh. Pfft. Okay. Let's not <laughs> roll for damage right away, because uh, ah. that, that would have stung a bit. Okay. So he fires a crossbow bolt. He misses you. Guy up on the roof. He's also shooting a crossbow bolt at you. 
And it's going to hit. It's, who, who is that? Uh, Itzel. It's going to hit Itzel. Or try to hit Itzel. That and, missed. yeah, that missed. All right, it's back to you guys' turn. You're getting slowly surrounded by these guys. Uh, same plan, just keep pushing Run them forward. over. Yep. Got it, uh, got it. So, you want to Rohan? Ooh, oh, no dice. Okay. Three feet, what are you doing? <laughs> you move half. You, wanna, you move half, okay. So, 20 feet. Oh, unless you want to re-row, Han. In fact, yeah, I will burn a fight point to re-roll that. Okay. Uh, so everyone hope that... Everyone hope it prays to the... Oh, <laughs> no, still, you only move half. Jesus Christ. Crazy. Right here. Breezy's like, no, uh, I don't right. want to do this. This is stupid. <laughs> ah! Oh, dice gods. Um, Zai, you need to reload your net gun. And that's all we can do. Oh, well, actually, we can throw our spears now. They're kind of close. Yeah, they're kind of close. You can throw one right there at this one, Marcus. All right, I'll throw one. Uh, I'm not very good. Uh, okay. Alright, throw it. Uh, hang on, I'm just getting my die roll up. Okay, it's a d20 plus 2. And roll. Ha! No die. I miss. Have we rolled above 10 at any point in this session? Nope. No. No, no, right. no I did. Okay, you lost a... Uh, a thing. Lost one cross, uh, no, crossbow, spear. Uh, spear. 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 Alrighty. Uh, we really need a mounted crossbow. Yeah. In the future, uh, you're gonna take, uh, is it a turn action, Tyler, for the reloading the net gun? It's a, yeah, it's a full round action to reload the net okay. gun. Alright, alright. So, rolling the nets beforehand did nothing for us? Huh? I oh. thought we had stacked them up, rolled. To save oh, yeah, time. then, yeah, you, yeah, you can load it in then. Oh, okay. I didn't realize you guys packed it already. So yeah, you can fire it again. Who should I go for? Probably the the one up on the north. And that's kind of close. This guy. Yeah. This yeah. guy. All right. Yeah. Nope. You fire the net, and he ducks out of the way. All right. I guess I'll. I think we're down to one net. Yeah, we're down to one net. And one bolt. And one spear. We may need to fight this, these guys on foot. Okay, this guy gets in front of Breezy and he tries to attack her. You oh, can't Breeze. hurt Breezy! <laughs> and he trips and falls. <laughs> <laughs> he becomes tur he becomes food for food for Breezy. Unless you, if we move forward, technically we could actually trample the guy. You could, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Itzel, this guy leaps up, he runs and leaps and tries to stab you with a knife. And he knife? misses. Wow, <laughs> these guys are just as bad as you are. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just throwing under tens. That's that's the problem right now. Okay, so he's hanging on the side of the wagon, that one enemy right there. He's in and, reach, Marcus. Uh yeah, we'll stab him for the first we have to do a move action for um for yeah. you have to row. Okay, this guy <laughs> is uh getting Oh, Oh, no, okay. Not. Full distance. So forty. Someone, uh, someone have to uh, measure it for me. I totally, oh, is... totally run over him. So. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. He's, oh yeah, he's stunned. He's helpless. Yeah, he gets trampled. <laughs> he gets tuck retard and then. But I think this oh, is that the guy? Uh, yeah, it's yeah that, guy, that guy's hanging on. Let me see. I gotta roll a check for him to hang on for dear life. And he falls off. About Everybody halfway. Cool. He's... I could uh, sh hit the other guy with a spear if you want, or just save it. Save it. Okay. Uh, yeah, save the net gun. Uh, just load it in, though, to save for the next bit. Yeah, I'm, I'll load it, but not fire. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Wait, the guy we ran over, does he, he disintegrate, or does he stay as a pulped mass? Probably pulped mass, I don't think. I don't well, think Breezy has well, well, I'll move him out of the way. The ninjas in the dungeon disintegrated. Oh yeah, that's a good point. No, this guy, uh, yeah, he, there's there's blood. 
Oh. So they're not shadow ninjas. Oh, they're, they're just, just wearing bandage. their clothes. Ah. So they were. They're bandage. cosplayers. The worst. Oh my god. Now it's cosplayers. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you guys are fighting what a bunch of Naruto cosplayers. Done. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can't we just killed a co uh, Naruto cosplayer. Uh, that guy was Sasuke. Oh, he was Sasuke? Oh, shit. Oh. Alright, next. What are you guys doing? Uh, I thought we're done, dude. We were just waiting for you. you okay, alright. Okay, so you guys are... Look at that. You, you guys are you're about to escape. It's fantastic. Look at that. You're almost off the map. Where are you? Yeah, oh. yeah, cheers, bro. <laughs> As you guys are getting away from these things, uh, you you know you, you kill the one guy and then you knock the other guy off the wagon. Uh, you're wouldn't passing he, by uh, this ruin, uh, huh? Wouldn't it be prone because he got knocked off the the horse? He'd be on the ground going. Err. No, he didn't fail that bad. Oh, okay. Oh. And then you're passing by a wall when suddenly. Suddenly. Oh, oh, oh god. <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> it's just a big giant E. It's a game troll. Oh no, it's the big E. You need your vitamin E. Papa E. Oops. Big Papa E. Come explain what is what is the This thing crashes through the wall and uh yeah. Marcus, you, re you you remember this thing? You remember uh, back in your young days when you were fighting in the arena? You recognize this thing immediately. It's an ogre. That's a fucking ogre? Shit. Oh, God. It's got, like, giant chains, like, wrapped around its wrists. Oh. He's, like, kind of wearing, like, a hood thing and, you know, similar to the guys that are what they're wearing. It's got, like, a giant, you know, one of them giant-ass ponchos on. I hope it doesn't throw so junkies at us. No, but he, like, gets right in the way of the cart, and, uh, Breezy, like, screeches to a halt. Uh, does, does it tip over, or it's just, just stop, basically? Okay, uh, Itzel, could you, uh, roll a dexterity check, please, to keep this thing in control? Oh, it's fine. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're fine. You do not tip over. However, you screech to a halt. Okay. Okay, it's initiative time. Let me, uh, I need to mark these guys here. Let I am get, going yeah, in get, the middle. Let me get your initiative. Uh, at least we killed one of them, just, you know. Itzel is going first. Mm hmm. Do I need to roll for Doom Fluff or does he go on my turn? Yeah, it's a separate character, hun. You have to roll for him. Okay. Huh? Uh. Doom Fluff, he's gonna attack, so it's 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 a no, different she, character. It, no, it uh, goes on her turn. Oh, on her turn? Oh. Yeah. Cool. Oh man. You, you can tell it to do a single thing, but it like it, it's assumed to be like around you, wherever you are. Uh, okay. And Bolak. Wow. Okay, you guys are not doing so bad. Be a lot worse. Could be raining. Or you know, you on fire, right? Yep. Or I could be just drunk and on the floor. How's that norm? How's that different from normal? He did bought five kegs of dwarven L. With his own money. Yeah. For the group, for everyone, you know. Yeah. By saying group, he means himself. No, 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 no. No, I bought you guys, like, what is it? Uh, four days? Four, four days worth? Only one, one is mine. The rest is, uh, the rest are yours. That's a, that's a generous dwarf right there. He's giving up his alcohol for us. Because technically you got, because, so, because most of you guys did save, save my ass, and I saved your asses, so... Equal trade. Alrighty. Uh... Cult 
to seven so we have one net killed. Left, right? Yes. Something tells me it's not as effective on something like the ogre. Mm. Well, I'll be right back. So what's the ogre cosplaying as? A gigantic Mexican. Oh god. The Mexican ogre? Ole. Oh. The horror. <clears throat> Alright, let me jot down stuff for these guys. And don't forget to set up your um, your fate point to one on your character. Um. I'm going to check this list and see how many enemies we're actually fighting. Nine. Oh, ten. Ah, jeebus. It's a lot. Oh, it could be worse. It could have been eleven. Or it could well, be it was eleven, then we ran one over. He is not too happy about that. Who, the orc? You mean Ogre? No, there's an Orc cultist on, on the list. Ah. And he was... Oh, it was the one that was seven feet tall. My luck with it. He was the big scary guy. Yeah, this with guy the right here. He's yeah, not this. the scariest. Yeah, and let's go six dude net gun over there. He, he's, he, I'm pretty sure he's not happy with us. Because he got stunned. He's like, son of a bitch. Oh, God. God damn it. They, net, they netted me. If we, have, if we have to sit here and fight, we might as well kill them all and take the crossbows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love you. I think you kill everything. Keep what you kill, right? <laughs> yeah. We can use the chains and the whale. Christ, you guys. <laughs> well, they're the ones who decided to make this into a fight instead of a chase. That is true. Okay. I have given everybody their weapons. And away we go. Yay. Oh, wait, no. All right, let's that's see. not just heavy flail. That's a heavy flail. Oh. It's got like that. So it's not an epic one? No. It'd be too big. The, the ogre might have one if you ask nicely. No. Okay, no, anyway, uh, let's uh, roll up their initiative orders here. Alright, so. For the orc cultist, he gets 11. For sniper cultist 1 and 2. Alright, for the ogre. He ain't going anywhere too fast. <laughs> <laughs> and now for cultist one through six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so first one's eight. Nineteen. Two. two. Wow, that guy sucks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's pretty bad. Thirteen, six, fifteen. All right. 
He's even slower than the ogre. And there's three that have 11. Uh, All right. I have to roll off for... So yeah, well, that's the highest uh, dexterity, so... What's your dexterity? Oh. Zar. That's a 16. You get a plus three. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're going before them. They only got two. Okay, so... Looks like Itzel's going first. Oh, boy. I'm going to be shooting with my big bow, the sniper Coltest 2. Okay. Why not that? The, uh, the orange indicates that they are on the roof. So they are getting a... Eh. A slight TN bonus. Because they're not quite in view. Well, here goes nothing. You shot him! Oh. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong cultist. No, that one barely misses him. He, like, ducks behind the, uh, the parapet and just, like, hits the edge of it. Almost got him. Okay, and I've got the Doom Fluff, who... Uh, he can't attack too far away from me, can he? Uh, what's his movement? 40 foot. Okay, so you can attack 40 feet away. Who do you want to beset him on? Are we, uh, Kovic 4? Yeah. You're not gonna go driving off, are ya? Nope. Okay, so okay. he's attacking Cultus well, we have a 4. So that's your, it's his current order, so that's where he's gonna be attacking him. So we'll yeah. give him that, uh... Lightning bolt thing there, or okay, that works too. Okay, so roll to attack. He's got his own. Uh... Colin, that is a miniature owl bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, but that's what uh, Bridget wanted. So, or was either that or the one that looked dead. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So he get, tells that cultist to put up his dukes. There you go, I'll rotate it properly so it looks like he's punching him in the face. Pow! <laughs> Alright, what's your, uh... Oh, he's got a D3 to hit. You want to re-roll that. Okay. Or, it's D D3. Your D20 plus 3. Oh! <laughs> Oh no! Please confirm! Oh! Oh! oh. Still hit him though. Yeah, auto hit. Okay, roll a d4. Or 1d4. That's, uh, yeah, that's all he gets. And he goes and scratches out his eyes, and the guy's like, Oh god! Get it away from me! It's punching me in the face! I won't stop punching me! <laughs> Guys, help! Quit hitting yourself! Quit hitting yourself! Quit hitting yourself! It's just smacking him with his own hand now. Alright, Cultist Du is uh, running after the goddamn wagon. Bolak, your turn. Alrighty, let's see here. Who is. Should I, I get off the market? Reach four and and uh, I can't beat that number from here. Ten. Let's zoom in. Slowly. I guess I'll charge cultist four and make and be epic and jump off the wagon. Get a, okay, you're gonna jump off the wagon and hit and attack cultist four. Okay, you're gonna do jump the, attack. Okay. You're gonna do a jump attack. Okay, off the wagon. Yeah, off the wagon. Off the wagon. Cultist okay, four. roll me a physical and dexterity check. Alrighty, that would be... Let me just get my thing. This could give you some stylish attack bonuses if you succeed. Alright, so, let's see here. Oh, wait, oh. Let's 
let's see here. Do, 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 do. And, ooh. Oh, nice. Okay, you get an extra uh, plus one to your hit. Oh, and I am just wielding, and I am dual wielding my... Spike shield in your hammer, or whatever yeah. it is. Oh, wait, I got a plus, plus six. Oh, wait, it was a 1d20 plus six, but still, 15. I looked at the wrong thing. Did, did he still get the bonus time? Yeah, yeah, you, so, you still got it. Okay. All right, so roll the hit. Don't roll forget, is, is, it, is it minus two, Tyler? The huh? other five? Because he's dual wielding. Oh, okay, you're, no, are, you I, making, no. are you making two attacks? No, I'm wielding my. Uh, no, I am two-handing my uh, ba my flaming battle axe. Oh, you're handing it. Okay. Okay, so remember yeah. you get a, uh, a one and a half times strength bonus. All right, so. So it should bump it up by at least one. Or like, what? What is your strength bonus? My strength bonus is three. All right, so you got three times. Oops. Five. Still the wrong thing. Why do I keep pressing the wrong thing? Okay, so it should keep bringing up to four. Uh, plus, plus four? Four e Oh, no, remember this is damage, not to, not to hit. Alright. Okay, so we'll, we'll tackle the hit thing first. Let's do that first. So where are you? Yeah, I rolled a... Using, which which, right which uh, weapon are you using? The Fleming Battle Axe. Okay. So roll the hit. Alrighty. Uh, oh, confirm. Uh, okay, that was actually a plus four to hit him. Uh, but he, got, he, got, oh, he got a 20. But, still. but he got a 20, yeah. It does, okay, con <laughs> confirm. Confirm with your proper bonus. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Ooh no! We said confirm. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you do hit him, man. Cultus Four is just like he's getting punched in the face I... repeatedly by a bird, and now this guy just jumps off the wagon at him with a flaming battle axe. Yep. All right, that's uh, plus. It's one d eight. No, it's plus four for this one. Remember, you're, you said you're two. You're totally in two hands. Two handing. Yeah, you're two handing it. Alrighty. So what, whenever you're two-handing something, you add uh, one and a half times your strength. Okay, you deal 11 damage to this guy. Wow! And then, and then for what? And then for fire damage. Oh jeez. Just let, <laughs> just so you know, he's already dead. Still. And hey, he's you a, got more than one point for fire damage. <laughs> and he's on fire. His uh, lifeless body crumples to the ground, and he is on fire. Can I? Can I? Okay, can I say something? Say say something. What? Fear the flaming axe. That's nice. <laughs> and not the best one liner. Jump her and just cut him down. Oh yeah, my turn. Okay. So we gotta snipe around the roof. Where are you, crossbow? Okay, so he is going to be shooting at you, Bolak. He's taking a penalty to hit you. Oh. Oh! Oh! But he oh. You. oh, okay, it doesn't, doesn't confirm it. That must be an unlucky uh, spot. Alright, you are taking... Right, do you not add your dex bonus to crossbows? Oh, you can't. Alright. Boom! You take three damage. Okay. And he goes to work reloading another bolt. I take the crossbow like a man. Crank, 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 crank. <clears throat> All right, cultist six. He attempts to get out of the net. He gets out of the net. But that is, however, all he can do. Marcus, your turn. I'm going to ch charge the ogre. Of course you will. Of course I will. 
I knew he was gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was going there planning what I was gonna do, and I knew for some reason Marcos would charge the oak. See, with that, we'll just go for Cotus. What's that? Number three? I'm going for Cotus three. Okay, now I'm going for the oak. Okay. Oh, Bolak, uh, you, you said you charged that guy, right? Yeah, I... Yeah, you did an extra well, two damage on top of him, so he was very, very dead. <laughs> well, I jumped that... Well, I... You, like, scared him half to death before he even got there. You're just like, oh, God! Ah, ah, heart attack and dies. Basically, I, I... Well, my charge was consist of a jumping attack. Just remember to add the bonuses from the things that you're doing, okay? Okay. Because I'm, I'm not always going to be remembering them for you. Right, so charge is what? Plus two. Two damage? Plus two. Gotcha. And it okay, is I'm a... Okay, charging... Yeah. Alright. Charging this. I'm charging the, the ogre with, um, you know, my great sword, of course. Alright. Right. Roll it up. Alright. Let's see what I get. Mmm! Oh! Mm. Sweet oh. victory! Ow. Okay, here we go. Confirm. Please. Confirm it. 17. Yeah! Oh! Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh. I need a. I don't think the ogre will be happy. Also, don't forget my smite activated tool. Oh. Did it? Uh, did it activate? It's every time I hit. On a hit, it activates. For, uh, well, if you, if you, can, you can spend three res to activate smite. Yeah. So I'm gonna spend okay. three res to activate smite. Smite. All right. Smite. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of calculation. Okay, well, uh, damage I'll, do, I'll do smite. I'll do smite afterwards. Uh, just so you know, your your crit doesn't affect your smite. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm doing. It just affects your sword. So yeah, you're I'm doing four d six plus ten. Four d six plus. Oh, Does that include God. the charge damage. I'll add in the charge damage. Oh, four d six plus twelve. Forgive me. Oh. Oh. Roll it up. Cha! Mm. Oh, oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> All right, right. Now I have to do it. you cleave a giant chunk of meat out of this guy. All right, now I have to, act, uh, I have to do smite now. Yep, 1d4 plus mind. 1d4 plus mind. It's going to be slightly anticlimactic after that. Where's my mind anyway? You misplaced it. <laughs> Plus two. So basically, you just you just cut the ogre's off. You just cut an cut, cut an arm off. Not at this point yet. Yeah, he hasn't reached below. Uh, there stuff. you go. Six damage. Six damage. Oh, max oh damage. this this ogre is pissed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then it's been three res. So I'm down minus three. There you go. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you just <laughs> entertain? <laughs> Bizarre, your turn. Uh, I follow Bullock's example. Leap from the, uh, the the wagon and charge in Cultist Three. All right, you're gonna you're gonna do the jump jump charge. Yes. Okay, roll a uh, more... roll a dexterity plus physical. Ow. Oh, you don't get anything. Not so visually impressive, I guess. You just kind of, you, instead of leaping, you just kind of hop. Oh well. Still a charge at that though, so. Yep. Get your plus two damage. Rapier misses. Face stabber threats. Face stabber crits. Whoa! Oh! 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 Crit. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, 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 Tony, what's that double crit you're doing this Oh, game? I wish I had something. rules. I don't have rules for that. We should, oh, oh. He, he oh, just dies. Know. He just, he's dead. He, there's, there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> because there are he some games with him. double crits. That's what I'm saying. Oh, lordy. Boom, he <laughs> is gone. Day, he just bumps dead. <laughs> you just, like, you slice him through his jugular and his head just, like, explodes in a shower of gore. Just, just <laughs> his head just, like, erupts into a fountain of... Blood. 
Our, our cultist too saw that, so he's like, oh shit. <laughs> cultist two is taking a fear check. <laughs> Well, we took a chunk out of the ogre, and we he doesn't two look okay. pretty much immediately. He, he just dropped all the fucks he doesn't give. Like, <laughs> like he doesn't. Like, he just, I didn't like that guy anyway. Yeah, basically. He's just like, nope, sorry, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, lordy lord. <laughs> okay, um, Rob, remind me at the end of the session to um. To, uh, r r yeah, just remind me at the end of the session. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell you about something. When this is okay. all said and done, that is like Xbox achievement pops up. <laughs> <laughs> Double crit. Or Cultus is just like, God damn, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> and he uh, runs. Like the wind towards you. Sniper Cultus 2 up on the roof, shooting down at Bolak. He's not getting any Ooh. penalties. He hits you, I think. Oh. Let me check. Yeah, no shield for Bolak. Yeah, he, yeah he hits you. Oh, yeah. And you take three damage. To oh. The butt. Three damage. Apparently, these crossbows do crap for damage. You know, bottom of like crazy Rashid's to use crossbow emporium. Hey Django. I okay, I just realized I'm an idiot. I totally forgot to like record I didn't get like the whole thing on the screen there, just so we can know for later. That's the double crit right there. That is <laughs> those in fact are two twenty threes, one after the other. It was a magical <laughs> moment. Forever, right forever recorded. Yep, there in this you go. episode, it was right there. <laughs> there you go, Rob. You redeem yourself with your crap, bros. Yep. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he hits you. Crap. Cultist Uno is Where? way back here. He oh. is running towards you. Cultist Five. Where are you, Cultist Five? Are you dead? Right here. Where's here? In the middle, I think. Oh, there he is. Cultist 5. Let me check something here. If I remember correctly, you can run here for charging. You can run their full distance. Oh, God. Nazar, this guy is coming after you. He's got a scimitar. Oh, Runs oh. up beside you and goes to a swing. And, and he misses. misses. And he misses. Huh. All that song and dance for nothing. Oh, I, I see who's next. It's ogre time. Oh, God. It ain't ogre till it's ogre. And he ain't happy. Marcus, you're going to get swamped. Bring oh. It. oh. No, yeah, hang on. No, th no this, this is for something else. Oh, this is a different thing? This is okay, a different this? thing. He gets oh. one health back. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay. Oh, that was just regen. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll just take 30 more of your health afterwards. Okay. Colin, this th <laughs> this is going to sting a bit. I'll have you know. Oh, wait a minute. He's below half health. Colin, this is going to sting even more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yep, okay. here we go. He sweeps around with a mighty fist and. Uh oh. Hit me. Oh. Colin, what's your what's your ace your uh your TN? Uh, nineteen. Okay. Thankfully, he doesn't crit you. His fist threat on eighteen. Well, he's got his chain spiky things on his fist, and his ability when he goes below half health makes his crit go up, because he mad. Oh. And Colin, you are dealt this thing here. Oh, I um go go to be frank, I did forty something odd damage because don't forget to smite. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you did forty damage, yeah, I forgot about that. That was like plus six to that thirty seven. Colin, you were dealt ten damage. No, oh, no, it was thirty one plus six, that gave the thirty seven. Is it um 
So you just took ten from the ogre. More, mine's ten. No biggie. Well, relatively speaking. Bill. Don't wait, I had worse. <laughs> We've all had worse. <laughs> yeah, but you're not the one who's uh, got. Okay, like it's all your turn. Last time. Okay, gonna shoot at my big eye again. Okay. Oh, That's a hit. Uh, Damage. Oh, that goes through his skull. Is that sniper number two? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh, not in the face, and he's gone. Cultist 2. Where are you, Cultist 2? Alright. Cultist 2's got a spear. He's gonna charge Nazar. Actually, wait a minute. How far away is he? Alright, he's a little bit too far away. Yeah, he's gonna charge Nazar. And he misses. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Hold on, your turn. Alrighty, I go for uh, Cultist 5. I'm gonna go for Cultist 5 and and uh, swing and swing at him with my flaming battle axe. And rolling. Mm. The that dice gods is. are good to you today. That is a hit. Oh wait. Oh wait. So it's an. Oh wait. It's twenty-one since plus four. Uh, Still. Yeah. Yep. Still. Yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's see if he is cleaved in two. Nope. Not. Oh wait. For the battle uh, axe. Is he on fire? And, oh! <laughs> he burns to a crisp. <laughs> Bolax barbecue he, over he there, just, right? <laughs> yeah, Bolax barbecue. Bolax barbecue. Open, open seven days a week. <laughs> just, <laughs> just goes up in flames. <laughs> the uh, sniper cultist, uh, you see him disappear from the, uh, the rooftop. He appear, appears to have gone down inside the building. Cultist 6, I believe, is it's the dead. guy who just exploded. Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna hit the I'm gonna hit the ogre. Rachia. <coughs> I don't know if that's a hit. That's a miss. You know what? It's a big guy. I'm gonna spend a fate point to hit him again. Alright, roll it up. 17. On the dot. Sweet beans. Alright. Damage. Claw. Eleven. <coughs> okay. And also activate my smite as well. Okay. And that is. Yes. Oh, extra free damage on top. That's fourteen damage total. Yes. Okay, you have. Uh, believe it or not, Colin, he is not actually dead yet. Oh. Oh. This guy's oh. got an ass ton of strength, and you just like, you you you, you brought him down. Into oh, that. so he's in. He's, he's in pro? this is. Sorry, I, I actually should have put a boss token there since. Uh, actually, this other orc guy should be a boss token too. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, special characters uh, on the map um, can uh, they can they can go down like uh, characters do. If they're uh, particularly tough. So this guy has. Um, hang on a second. I'm going to go look at the main document here at the thing that gives you points. Uh, 
Okay, how much damage did you do? 14 damage? Yeah, 14. Should put it to 51 total damage. Uh, nice. 50 minus the one he healed. So. Yeah. Okay, so you brought him down to... Okay. He is actually getting a penalty to attack you now. Because he's hanging oh. on for dear life. Thankfully, his, he... his ability to regenerate uh, lets him pass any uh, oh. uh, pass out check he needs to make. Oh, okay. That's what I was. was he's hanging in there. Okay. Nazar, your turn. I'm going to tell Cultus too why he should have cared. Or at least try to. Double crit. Double crit. Oh. That's a miss. Oh. Both of those are misses. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Wait. Okay, first it one hits. Discharge. Okay. That's your right here, right? That's his yes. right here. Only five. You stabbeth him. And he is butt mad. Ow! He son of a bitch. <laughs> you bitch! Why are you stab at and me? <laughs> and the orc cultist continues to hurrah, as the usual. Sniper cultist two is cadet. Is dead. Cultist one. He does not charge. He instead goes up beside orc cultist here. Uh, number five, I believe, kick the bucket. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, he was barbecued, I believe. Yeah, but yeah, oh wait a minute, Cultist Six was the guy who got uh, netted. Cultist Six was here. Oh, we were wrong. Sorry. Yeah, hang on. I'll I'll make him go last. I I forgot. I, we we forgot all about him because he was underneath a net. <laughs> yeah, we thought yeah. we killed him. Yeah. Uh, he's like, screw this. I'm going home. Fuck this shit. All right, Cultist Five <laughs> is dead. The ogre. Oh, this is gonna oh, shrek you. Hey, Frost. Me. Okay, so he is he is mad. He is also like losing most of his strength bonus, so he only gets a plus three to hit you. And he's he's getting tired. He's losing a lot of blood. He's just like Rawr! and tries to slap you with his fist, and he misses. <laughs> it's like a light tap. <laughs> Basically, it's like a love tap. Now it's Cultus like Six <coughs> gets the hell up. And he's like, now it's my time to shine. And he runs over here. It's so it's your turn. Okay. I recommend to slow down that orc coaches because we found out he's a boss. But you don't have to. Oh, Sniper yeah. 1 is still alive? Yeah, Yeah, but he went into the building, so we can't shoot at him. Oh. Right. I'm also thinking of just shooting at Cultus 6, just to, like, insult for injury. injury. <laughs> We've left him there. He gets up, my turn, and dies. <laughs> Shot him right in the knee. It's like, oh! I'm digging yeah. arrows at the knee. Why? In fact, yeah, let's shoot, should... at... shoot at Cultus 6. Here, start your, your guard career. Oh. oh, that's a hit. He should have oh. stayed under the net. I think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Roll it. Oh. Yeah, that one's right. I smell something delicious. He is not dead. But has he started a guard career? <laughs> <laughs> not yet, if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> All right. Actually, I have, oh, oh. I have Doom Fluff as well. Oh, you do have Doom Fluff. Okay, do what? What's Doom Fluff gonna do? What is? Remember, you can move 40, 40 feet. He can move forty feet. So from his position, he can move forty. Okay. Yeah, he's going to charge that Coas. Charge the cultist. The okay. gets plus two attack. Here's uh, hope he can damage. crit again. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, that is a hit. 
Roll that d4. <laughs> Free damage, plus two because uh. of the charge. Sorry, I was in the. Oh, way. It, it's it's too small. It's a small creature. Oh, it's, it's too not, small. Oh, yeah, okay. it's it's not gonna get the charge bonuses. It, it it is a wee bobby. That's true. We will have to wait until it fully grows up into a uh, you know proper griffin that you could like ride and fly on. Man, griffin. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, cultist two. He is still kicking. Nazar. He's uh, coming after you with his spear, and he lunges. Oh. 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 Oh does, no! Uh, I don't think spears. No, he, does, he can't. Spears do not thread on that. He does no, not thread on that, but he does hit no. you. You are dealt eight damage. By a spear Master. thrust. You're okay. This is not ten damage, right? Okay, Bolak, your turn. Alrighty, I Finish shall him roll. Off. I will do barbecue this time. Do you want original yeah, recipe yeah. or extra crispy? Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. I was about to say, do you smell what Bullock is cooking? <laughs> you were supposed nope. to finish him off. Oh, oh, you can pay if you want. No, no, no. Save it for the orc. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, that. I was going to say save it for the orc. Okay, Sniper Cultist is, uh, moves out into the road. Actually, no, not there. Moves out over here, and he is reloading. Marcus, your turn. Well, you know what I'm going to do. Roll it. Yep. Oh. That's a miss. That is a miss. Looks like he's going to live one more turn. Alright, Nazar, your turn. Well, since Bolak didn't finish him, I will have to. Both of those are hits. Rapier does nine. Face stabber does six. You, yeah, 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 he's dead. You stab him twice in both of his eye sockets. <laughs> he's like, ah, ah dick. I'm blind! And then he dies because he's got irreparable brain damage. Oh, ouch. Sure sucks to be a cultist. Especially when yep. you got guys who are way better than you. Fighting I think you just let us go. We wouldn't have had this problem, would we? I'll never let it go, says the orc. <laughs> <laughs> they see he, you know, he yells out the name of I don't know whatever the hell he's worshiping. Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> he starts swinging the flail around his head as he charges at Bolak. Oh, 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 and right. pow! Ooh. Right in the flail. <laughs> oh, that is... Ooh. Oh, you lucky bastard. <laughs> Seven damage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down to 13 health. <laughs> that could have stung a bit. And then it that cultist who hung back before... Also charges you, Bolak. Ah. So instead of this, so instead of chicken today, it's dwarf. Basically. Uh. Oh, oh. Scimitar. That. Oh, yeah, that's a crit. Let's see oh. if it. Ooh. Uh. All right. How much? All right, it's gonna be a uh, two d six plus four. Oh. Uh. You take 12 damage as the scimitar rips through your chainmail. I chain have mail. one health. Oh, oh no. ah, you're becoming me today, right? <laughs> yeah. You're going to get the Marcus Award. <laughs> <laughs> the Marcus achievement in taking gratuitous damage. We're not giving a crap. All right, the ogre. Does not regen. But it will uh, instead attempt to punch the crap out of Marcus, and proceeds to not do so, because it is losing a lot of blood. It's, it's you see him, he's starting to slow down, starting to topple a bit. Like, oh my goodness, <laughs> there's like seven of them. 
<laughs> Why are there so many? So many chickens. All right, Cultist Six. Uh, he saw where that arrow came from. And he's pissed. He jumps up into the wagon behind Itzel. Or he's going to try. Yep. And he goes to s swing at you with his scimitar. Is that a hit? What's this? No. Does, he need Does he need to make some sort of check to get into the wagon that fast? Well, you guys were leaping off. The th yeah, he was running. But the thing, bef oh, the thing before was you guys leaping off the wagon because you said you wanted to leap off. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll just make this a little more cinematic for you guys and give you a bonus for doing so if you manage to pass. All right. I was being All nice. Right. I wasn't sure whether or not it was difficult to climb up, up in the middle of that run. Okay. All so right. we can climb on really fast if we have to get out of here. <coughs> exactly. There's the ogre. <laughs> well, that was okay. my plan. <laughs> Itzel, it's your turn. You're being attacked by this crazy cultist. Okay, it's going to be dagger to the face time. Okay. So one dagger or two daggers? Because remember, it takes you a move action to swap weapons. I just be one dagger. Okay. Roll it. Ooh. That is a stab. You stab him in the face, and he bleh, falls off the wagon. It was my time to shine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Zoom Plus is going to go for Cultist 1. Okay. What happened to Cultist 3? Did Cultist 3 die? Oh, he did. A while okay. back, I think. I think Cultist 3 is the one we uh, trampled with the cart. Yeah. Yeah. No, that I was a different one. That, that, that would have been Cultist 7. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, you didn't He's... kill him. Yeah, we killed him, but I think... You killed him a long time ago. I, I just forgot, I forgot to take him off of my kill list. Uh, what was that roll for? Oh, that was for the thing. Okay, yeah, so that's a miss. Not this time, Doomfluff. Cultist number two is also dead. Bolak, it's your turn. You got an ogre and uh, a, a orc and a cultist on you. I you, I go I'll and try and for the I'll try and deal with the cultist. So Bolak, right. do what you do best. All right, I swing for the orc. And That's I miss. A miss. I said best. And uh, I will burn a fate point and roll again. Spend, don't say burn. Burning spend. is when you're about to die. <laughs> oh, well, I'll, I'll spend a fate point. Okay. And still now. <laughs> I give you a worse the, result. What the, the hell? The dice gods are to... not in favor of you today. Did we burn up all of our favor? Probably when you rolled double, you know. Now that he's locked grits. and loaded, the sniper cultist tries to move into a sneaky position. Marcos! Clear off the ogre. That's what I'm gonna do. Swing! And that's a hit. That's a Ooh. hit. I'll activate my smite. Okay. And there you go. Mmm! That's oh, damage. 18. Uh, the ogre flops over and collapses. Like, and my cleave activated, and there's no one nearby the cleave. Damn. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> you just remember, you can take a free action to make a five foot step. Oh, that's true. There's nothing to cleave. I can move five foot, uh, five foot somewhere. So, there you go. Okay. You just you, you can't take a five foot step if you've already moved. That's the the one restriction on that. Oh, okay, but I didn't move, so I've yeah. been stabbing the orc for like three turns. So you, yeah, you can't like run sixty feet and then like tiptoe the next five. You can't do that. <laughs> it's Nazar's turn. 
Well, Goldust one is safe for me for the day. Now we're back game. to the usual fare. Uh, uh. I must have burned my cinematic points for today. Oh. I hope they like, realize they're losing and they go, oh, fuck this shit, I'm going home. No, this orc is crazy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh. Remember, he just shouted Elsa as he ran at you. That is true. <laughs> that is fucking true. Uh. Elsa. Elsa! And, uh, yeah, he goes to swing at you with his heavy flail again, Bolak, and he smacks you in the face. Sorry, Bolak. You take 14 damage. Oh. You're on the negatives. You're on negative 13. No. Okay, so you, you deduct one from your health, and uh, roll me a pass-out check. It's your uh, strength and physical. Oh, hang on a second. Uh, okay, hold on, we gotta make sure your stuff goes all the way down here. So you, there was 13, so one damage is dealt to your HP, and then 13 damage is dealt straight to your strength. So that well, brings you down... Three strength. He's okay, he's not dead. Well, it looks like one of us is going to burn a face is, today. But he is, unfortunately, yeah, you're, he's way too low. Not only are yeah, you at zero, you're at like, uh, hang on a second, let me just get the formula. I think you here. take penalties at that point. He's taking like major penalties here. So it's your stat, right. three minus ten, negative seven, divided by two. Yeah, you're at negative three for your strength. Negative three? No, 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 no. Yeah. Your, 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 your bonus For is negative the modifier. Three. Yeah, the modifier is uh. negative three. So you, you have to make a strength and physical check uh, in order not to pass out. So you're, you do have to do a, um, a d20 plus one. Ugh. You pass out. Oh. oh. Prone That's now. probably safer though, because I don't think he's gonna keep beating you with other people standing. The, the thing is, we don't know what Blas would do. He might will kill him off. We have to. I'm gonna intercept as best as possible to get there. Yeah, you guys. You guys see the orc? He goes and swings his flail around his head, and it just you hear this crunch as it like slams in the bolax side. You're pretty sure his rib cage kind of like collapsed in on itself. Shit. I think one of us is going to burn a fate point today if I, we don't save him quick. Okay, Bolak, you are now on the ground. You have passed out. Cultist 1 goes to stab at Nazar with his scimitar, and he misses. The ogre is dead. Is dead. <laughs> he is ogre, if you will. Cultist 6 is finally dead. He is, yeah, he is, oh, yeah. Itzel, your turn. All right, I'm gonna have to have a pot shot at the, at the uh, orc. Oh, is is that what I think it is? That's what you think it is. Because you're using the droid grape bow, aren't you? Yes. yes. Oh boy. Oh. oh. Actually, I'm gonna use another fight point to reroll that. That's. Oh boy. Oh. 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 Yes! <laughs> yes! Alright, so that go. is a uh, 2d8 plus 10. Oh! Wow. Oh. Ah. My, my god. god. Okay, you have brought this guy down to zero. And then so. Oh. You have managed to actually weasel in on his strength. He's still up. I, th I hopefully, and see if he it's passes out, because he doesn't yep. have the thing like the ogre does, where he can automatically pass. So he's still got he's he's still going strong here. He's got um, yeah. There we go. He's good. He's still up. But he's on his negatives. Yeah, but he's in. Yeah, it's now damage to be dealt directly to his strength. So he's going to be a little less powerful than he is. Bolak, you're on the ground. You're passed out. Sniper called this yeah, one. Yeah, passed out. He uh, gets up beside this uh, building here, uses it for cover, and pokes his head out and fires a crossbow bullet at you, Itzel. Okay. And misses. Marcus! We'll deal with you later. You know what I'm going to do, right? All right Leap here. over the cart, charge the orc. 
Yeah, pretty much. Okay, you gotta, le- you gotta leap it. over the cart and fly over. Uh, yeah. So yeah you, just, yeah, you just fly. But I don't think I'm in range, though. Huh? No, it's your run distance. Oh, it's, oh yeah, 60. Yeah, yeah, I'm in. Whoop. Okay, roll Okay. Swish off. Uh, spend a fifth point. No, why? <laughs> it apparently really wants you to roll a three. Uh, oh, well. Elsa doesn't want you to win. Guess you, Elsa. Oh, well, that's me done. At least I stop him killing uh, Borlack. Make sure you kill Cutlass one, because if he gets a pot shot in... Okay, Nazar, well, your turn. I have to cut through Cultist one to get to the orc, so I have to cut through Cultist one. Okay, that's not that's, a threat, but I believe that's a hit. Uh, that is a hit. Roll it up. Face Deborah does four points. Okay. He is not looking good looking too good. And Orc Cultist New Challenger approaches. Rawr! And he's losing okay, he lost a point of strength, so he's only hit me on this. Oh! 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 Oh, oh no! Ah! Uh, I think we're gonna lose two guys here. <laughs> Okay. Uh, roll oh, oh, God. Roll it up. Roll it up. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. Colin. Just the, do it. The I, heavy, I, the I, heavy I, flail. It's got a multiplier of three. Shit. <laughs> We're Shit. Not in good shape. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> the world wants. And the work tonight. 10 plus 12. Colin, how much health do you have left? Uh, uh, I have 15 health left. I'm sorry, you're dead. Oh. Oh. You, oh. Could, you, you may have to burn a fate point in order to survive this. How much strength do you have? I'll check. My strength is 18. Well, if it only does 14 points to damage the strength, so you might not be dead. You might not be entirely dead. Okay, so you have... How much health you said you had left? 15. 15. Okay, so we got 29 minus 15. So you got 14 damage left. And then it deals... Oh, oh, four strength left. You have... Yeah, you have four strength left. You're still... You got like a... Four minus 10 divided by two. Yeah, you have a negative three to strength right now. Okay. Okay, or roll to not pass out. You have to... It's a physical check. uh, D20 plus two. Stay in the game! Just plus two, right? Yep. Ugh. You pass out. <laughs> oh, looks like we're both gonna die, bro. No, it's a little kill the work, cultist. I'll carve through cultist one. And Doomfluff had better start doing stuff again. <laughs> uh. Wake up, bird! Okay, cultist uh, one uh, is uh, mad at you, Nazar. Oh man, this is getting tense. Intense, if you will. What's the symbol for, uh, passed out? Uh, that little icon there, this looks like a sad face. Oh, there you go. Yep. Okay. Cultus goes to stab in his R. And commences. No. It's all... Save us. You're the last the great hope for mankind. Or bird kind and dwarf kind. That's a miss. Oh. Well... Uh, um, Doom Plus gonna go for Cultist 1. Okay, here we go. Hopefully he kills him. That's a hit. He's not quite dead yet. He's oh, getting there, though. On. He's getting there, though. Bolak, you're down. Sniper Cultist 1 is reloading his crossbow. Marcus, you're dead. Nazar, you're up. I have to cut through cultist one to get through the orc. Pretty sure I'm still down. I'm not dead. You have fate like... point. You have fate point. Be rule. Ah! <laughs> oh no! Oh, it looks like I'm. I am dead. <laughs> now the orc cultist climbs over top of your. Passed out body. Passed out body and attempts to strike in the czar. And he swings. Oh. 
That connects. Ow. Seven damage. Ow. I'm not down yet, but a real hit would finish me. Cultist one attempts to stab at you with his scimitar. Nope. You're, it's not, you're not supposed today. to poke people with a scimitar, Cultist one. Don't you know how to use that thing? No! I mean, yes. <laughs> Okay, it's all. It's your turn. Okay, going for the orc again. Oh! 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 Confirm! Confirm! Confirm that! Confirm oh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> we might have a dead orc. Was it 2d8 plus 10? 2d8 plus 10, yes. Mm. You. No. Oh. He's not dead. <laughs> but does he have to make another check to not pass out? Nope. <laughs> he already made his first check. Yeah, but he's, uh, he's a lot weaker now, so he won't hit as hard. Oops. Okay. Right, there's still Doomfluff. Yeah, Doomfluff can finish him off. No, Doomfluff... Uh, he's got... He's got... He has... Stupid amount of strength penalties on him right now, but he is still alive. <laughs> Holy Holy crap. Crap. <laughs> he came to me. Okay, Bolax down, sniper cultist, has his crossbow loaded, and fires another one at Itzel. And misses. Marcus is down. Nazar, you're up. I have Shit. to stab the orc cultist. Oh well you can I am going to reroll. Which one though? Uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, Itzel, you didn't use uh, Doomfluff. Yeah. That's what I've been saying. Okay. Sorry, I, I got a little bit ahead of everybody there. Doomfluff missed. Okay, or cultist. He's having a hard time lifting up his flail there. In fact, he can't even lift it up anymore. So he's going to try to punch you. <laughs> and he's getting nothing to this. <laughs> oh my god! Are you serious? <laughs> well, um, I guess we've learned something today. Everyone's dead? I don't know. We haven't seen the damage. Uh... He does have strength penalties at the moment. Uh, yep. True, true. Yes, he but does. he still rose 3d6. Uh, was it 3d6? No, 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 no. He's, he's punching you because he can't lift up his flail anymore. Oh, okay. Well, whatever the punch okay, is. Slash R 2d3 plus. My arm is just a 1d3. Oh, minus, minus 4. Two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he did that. This, yeah, he just goes, ah! You see, you know, he just goes all Super Saiyan, like, ah! Ah! Just, to, just hits you in the he chest. Just, he just, he just slaps you. He just slaps okay. you. Oh. Cultist one looks over the orc and he's just like, dear God. <laughs> 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 and he tries to slice you with the scimitar and he misses again because he's useless. It's all go. Do the thing. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. Oh, oh, <laughs> here we go again. Oh, oh, God. I'm pretty sure he's dead now. <laughs> I'm not even going to make you roll. He's dead. He's done. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. He's... Yeah, you you fire that arrow. He's like going about... He's like just about to like, you know, try to like choke out in his arm or something like that. And he just hit the arrow... The arrow just pretty much, like, takes his head off and, you know, hits the ground some feet away. <laughs> he is down. Finally. And Doom Flop. Oh, the sniper oh, oh, once, oh, the, the, oh, these 20s, man. The Doom, oh, these... Fluff. Doom Fluff. Doom Fluff. Oh, Doom Fluff, yeah. Do the, do the Doom Fluff. That's a hit. Oh, He manages to peck the eyes out of the cultist one and kills him. 
<laughs> am, am I better served going after sniper cultists or trying to do something in a medic role which I am no good at? <laughs> sniper think, cultist yeah. takes like one look at you guys and he's just like, uh, um, <laughs> fuck this shit. God damn it! <laughs> he just runs away. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to stay unconscious until And we get to the as down. he's running down the road, he gets, like, almost to the gate, and then he explodes. What? He just pops. You know, he just, like, he, just, he just, he looks like he just spontaneously combusts and erupts into flames. Oh, dark magic works. He is dead. Well, you know what? At least First, we that. Uh, I think our medic should look at the fighter people, because they're in trouble. Yes. If, well, actually, because I don't think your medic kick will get us back. Uh, you could actually load us up on the wagon and drive, uh, you know, get us all the way to Southside, and it will probably have a medic. Uh, well, uh, they, the they, you guys, you guys will not cleaning. last that long. The like, thing what's, is, what's, I still have heating water. Oh. Yes. Okay, so who's what's their what's the people's strength? Okay, Colin's at strength four, so that's that is not good. And Bulak is at strength three. Yeah, you guys are like in dangerous trouble here. You guys got you guys literally need like immediate medical attention, or else you will die like very very soon. I believe soon. I still have some healing water left, like one don't left. I have I'm a full a... flask. Oh. I am of no use in this circumstance, so I'm gonna go searching. Take the crossbows. Yes, that was on my list of things to pick up. Uh, okay, you find okay. one crossbow. Take the flow for me. I might want to keep that. <laughs> well, I was going to collect whatever I found, and then we can sort it out afterwards. And I'll be right back real quick. Okay. Yeah. Alright, yeah, so... Um, uh, Han, go and try heal us. Um best as possible. Um, you'll need like to uh, stabilize them first, so you'll have to do your, medi your medical check first. Yeah. Because the, the healing water isn't going it, to... Is, it's not going to work like the Holy Grail from uh, uh, La Last Crusade. It's not going to work like that. It was On the other hand, it didn't cause the temple to collapse when we took it out of there. Yeah. Uh, my healing check is survival plus mine, doesn't it? Yep. Oh, okay. Who's That's it? on Marcus. That's on Marcus. Okay, Marcus, uh, you are no longer dying. Sweet. But am I still un unconscious as well? Probably. Uh, no, with that, you actually regain consciousness. You are at zero health. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry. No, no, no. Uh, my bad. Okay, uh, do your uh, roll up for the uh, the healing check there. And you should get a bonus of that, right? Yeah, times two my mind, so it's plus four. Okay. Hmm? I thought we gave you a... S you oh, double your mind? Yeah. Okay, Colin, you get uh, six strength back. You are now at ten strength. Ten strength. That's good. Neither penalties nor bonuses. Yeah. You are okay. I'll put you at zero health. Yeah, uh, so yeah, yeah. Still, still yeah. zero health. I'm just going to put it on my thing right now, so... Put right next to ten. There you go. And then I put my health to zero, so I know what, what's going on. Okay, roll it up for the Bolak. Oh. oh no! Bolak is bleeding out. You're pretty sure, like, one of his lungs collapsed or something. Uh. We can. Uh, let's see. Well, he can burn one of his fate points to immediately uh, resolve the situation. Yeah, we we'll have to wait for him to come back to then. So, meanwhile, when this is happening, what is uh, Nassar what doing? I was collecting anything I found because I wasn't any good at medical stuff. 
Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna, have, might have to burn a fate point. Uh, Who, me? Or, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna have to burn a fate point. Okay. I'll burn a fate point. What do I need to roll? I thought it was automatic something. It's automatic. You just look. Okay. You permanently lost a fate point. That's basically it. Oh. On the other hand, you're not dead. Mm-hmm. Yay! So you only get one re-roll for the rest of the game. So yeah, everyone's basically got like two lives, you know, extra. Well, three lives in total. Oh. So we got three lives. Technically, okay. yes. Not you anymore. Oh. So I just burned one of my lives. Yeah, so your fate point is down to one by one now. Ugh. But don't worry, if you do something crazy or whatever, you might get a fate point back. Yay! I'm okay, so you, are you burning your fate point? Uh, yes. Okay, you yes. burn your fate point. Just when you think all hope is lost. <clears throat> Nazar, as you're exploring, you see a familiar face. It's that kindly old woman you met before. Afternoon. Oh, it's f interesting bumping into you here. What are you doing in the ruins? Well, we were headed towards Saltside where you sent me. We sort of ran into trouble. Ah, I see. So that's what all that commotion was about. I do hope you're all alright. Uh, we're not. Ah. Well, perhaps I could help you. If you would, we would appreciate that greatly. Okay. After collecting a bunch of stuff, which I will tell you about afterwards, uh, you, uh, yeah, you lead her back to the where everybody else is, and uh, she brings Bolak back to consciousness. Oh, Bolak, you were at full strength, but you're still at zero health. Yay! See, this is uh, who I was talking about earlier. I don't know, I'm pretty too... I've only got ten strength. I don't know if I'm weak or not. <laughs> You're conscious, I, uh, you can, you can look around. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so this is her. Mm. Yes, this is... Uh, Which name, Betty? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, which names? There's a which, which name generator here. <clears throat> oh yeah, in those uh, record keeping tasks, I pack up the uh, fired nets. So, so Ixel failed to revive me. Yeah, I had to burn a fish, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Oh. Okay, you guys meet uh, Alani the Witch, the kindly old woman, and uh, she got she takes you back to where she had actually set up her her camp, her um, that tent that just is kind of there, and her turkey raptor. And you guys spend the rest of the day recuperating with her. She makes you some really disgusting soup, but it's apparently good for you. Mm. <coughs> Alright, you guys don't have to spend any of your uh, rations since she's got plenty to go around. So, Colin, uh, make a uh, okay. What's your what's your uh, strength modifier right now? Yeah, well, it's ten. So it's I don't ten to be at zero. Okay, so you got yep. you get three strength back. Okay, but I'll and put on top of uh, what she's going to help you with here, so you get additional four on top of that. So I'm up to seventeen. Uh, seventeen, yeah. All right, so you're at oh, nearly max strength. Um, you're almost to zero. You're nearly recovered. 
Man, that awful. Wait a second, this soup got chicken in it! <laughs> it's no one you were related to. <laughs> no, no, she, she gave you the ham. I am. It's ham, don't I worry. Am okay, I was about to say, I am delicious! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Yeah, we'll keep the chicken noodle soup in there. That's the. You thought it smelled disgusting, but it was actually delicious. <laughs> I'm delicious, more please. <laughs> okay, and then everybody heals as normal. Well, that was a, uh, a tough match. For a moment, I thought it would be Ipsil versus the Orc, it was the only left that was left. Uh, at least it's over, right? Oh, yeah. At least it's over. What do you want? Let's never cut through ruins again. Agreed. Yeah, let's go the long way next time. <laughs> Uh, Alani actually tells you a little bit about those things that just attacked you. Uh, I've heard about your, uh, your run-in with the darkness while you were inside, uh, up in those dwarven mines. It appears you have made yourself an enemy. If I had any guess, they would, uh, they're followers of the darkness, then they had tried to destroy you. And almost succeeded ah. in doing so. I would be very, very careful from now on when you're if you're traveling along uh, winding mountain roads. I was actually hoping to meet you while you were in Salt Side. I'm glad that I was around. Ah, oh, she's so nice. Or oh, witch. Mm. And then she jumps in a parable. <laughs> <laughs> she's not just any witch, she's a witch! A witch! What a nice witch. Alright, so you got, we're going to, uh, we're going to pause it here, because I think that's, uh, this is a good time, it's been two hours. Alright, yep. so, the okay. stuff you have collected Ooh. from the dead. Yeah, I just, right now I just wrote pile of cultist stuff in the treasury load. Alright, uh, the stuff that has survived the great battle, you get yourself uh, one spear, and the spear you threw at a guy and missed, so two spears, uh, three scimitars, uh, one crossbow, and one heavy flail. Mm. How about the, what about the other crossbow? Did it just be it, destroyed? <laughs> the guy exploded. Yeah, uh, flagration. What, is it what type of crossbow? A light crossbow. Did you manage to find any of my arrows? Yeah, you have to roll a die for that, don't you? Uh, how many arrows did you fire? Six. All right, roll a d6. How many bolts did we turn up for the crossbow? Uh, you find the body, and the, you, uh, well, the, the guy that you got, the, the guy you shot, and you get, uh, 20, uh, 20 bolts. Oh, nice. Sweet. And what about the change from the, uh, ogre? The chains? Yeah. Alright, you get, uh... Two 15 foot lengths of very, very heavy chain. Could be used to be, could be sold to, to at Salt Side for quite a good bit of money. It looks the kind of dinged up and well used. So it could be sold for possibly good bits of money. Hmm. 
you know, actually, um, mm. I'm still in the mood to keep playing. How about you guys? I'm. Uh, I'm thinking we're gonna we're gonna pause here. Oh, we're gonna now. pause. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna pause right. here. I've I've made you guys like go on for too long on some of these games, and uh, I actually got to do something uh, around four. Oh, okay. Oh, so I was. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is this is like a perfect time to pause. All right, all right. Well, then we we'll do our things then with the experience and see if there was Rob something you wanted to mention at the end of the session. With yep. re that was brought up at the time of the, the double crit. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Okay, face stabber is evolving. Oh. <laughs> you uh. You know that voice you were hearing inside your head before? Did he come back? Yeah, he came back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's either. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. And this time, everybody can hear it. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, that was fun, wasn't it? Ha! <laughs> oh. That was That's amazing all... how you killed that guy and made his head explode to a fountain of gore. Question, is it a man or a woman we're hearing? Uh, it, is, it, is, it is, in fact, a dude. Oh, okay. Oh. It's a dude talking. Mm. Okay, I won't respond. There was that! Coming from your pocket. Unsheathe me. Show me to the world. Apparently, the knife has decided to start talking again. Again? Again? Oh, everybody can hear it me now. It was chattering, but it was possessed, but. Yes, yes, we, we all could hear you now. But apparently it was quieter then. Actually, you know what? This is a stupid idea. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what, you don't want to roleplay it? <laughs> nah, not really. Unless it's uh, Steve, I don't really want it to. <laughs> then it's fucking Steve's voice. There you Steve go. Steve was a demon yeah. sword, Colin. Wow. That's true. All right. Well, since we you've named Face Stabber, uh, I'm gonna give you back that um, 18 to 20 crit you had before. Since it has bathed in the blood of many enemies. Oh. Kind of like guts his sword, right? Yep. I think that's fair. Then you don't have to role play now. Yeah. I don't know. I think the, I, the, the, I think, I think the, I found, the novelty of it would wear off pretty fast. I think. I I think I found a theme for uh, face stabber. <laughs> we'll have to listen what? to it later. <laughs> okay, we're, we're not doing that now. So you're too late on that. You're too late. Uh, <laughs> it's funny if you actually did it right then, right now. Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm and, trying uh, to find it. Colin, there, what, one thing for you. Uh, you know how you have that necklace? Yeah. Where it shows you where that sword is? Yeah. Yeah, it is It, it is tugging you in a uh, northwestern direction. Oh, oh. northwestern. Uh, you kind of put it out of your mind uh, during all the excitement of uh, the other sessions we were doing, but uh, now that oh, you've yeah. had a time to relax... Yeah, you realize you got this, this uh, sudden need to like go northwest. Northwest. Can I? Can you show me on that the main map like a general direction? You don't have to like pinpoint me. Okay. So if you guys are in the uh, the ruins of Galagar, it's in uh, this kind of direction up that way, up to the top okay. left. So once you want to go this way. Okay, so we'll get you close. sending you to the tower. Don't do it. Well, it's it's probably not in the actual tower, but we'll head that way after we do the salt side. It's not like a pressing matter. It's just kind of like you you kind of feel the need to go that way. Yeah. And then, and then it, you know, dawns upon you. Oh yeah, 
Lightning sword. Lightning sword. Wait. So these cultists had absolutely no supplies beside their combat gear. Yeah. Oh. Well, you know, that heavy mace is kind of... Or oh, heavy flail. Sorry, my bad. That heavy flail, it, that was... That was mean. That's scary. I probably would will that go around kicking butt with it. Well, it was it was it. mostly scary because the guy had stupid amounts of strength. Yeah, later late on, don't forget, I'm still I'm still so uh, growing. How did they get here? That is the question, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I got something to do with that with that thing about the t about the rumors about the ruins, huh? Huh? That had nothing to do with these guys. <laughs> oh. Or about the did deep it? Pit. The deep pit full of bum. bones? The missing altar? Bum, bum, bum. Maybe the cultists here never left. <gasps> okay. Well, we'll find out. The next. gas. Yes, now. Alright, and so, what else do we get in the XP? Yes! For your endeavors, everyone gets four experience points. Sweet. Any plus for any action poses or something more. It's so you get plus one for being uh, MVP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or or cultist gets MVE, most valuable enemy, because goddamn that guy. Uh, do I get anything killing for, uh, the ogre? Uh, yeah, I'll give it to you. You get plus one for killing ogre. Oh, right, twenty nine. Oh, oh, and yes, Nazar, you get plus one because of the goddamn double crit. Jesus Christ! And what do I get? You get beans, man. Oh. You're you're alive, aren't you? Yeah. Well, this was just not your session, Google. Don't worry, don't worry. There is other sessions, and don't feel bad about fake points. Like I said, there's ways to get them back. You just there, have to there are ways to get them back. Yeah, yeah. Just so you like it, I will. I will award people doing fantastic and outlandish things as long as they're you know not incredibly outlandish, but outlandish. Enough. Right. Like if you want to like just throw your di you throw your shield like a frisbee into a guy's neck or something, you know, like, we could do that. I'll keep that one in mind. I'll keep that one in mind. I did that, did that in another game. I killed like three people. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna stop it here for today. Ah, oh, great session. Yep. Yeah.